on the last video we had a pretty decent season we uh, finished up the second half of the season and ended up uh, with a record of 47 28 and 7 which is really good for a team uh, it's really good We're almost close to the 50 almost got the 50 which is uh, really cool so we got back to the playoffs once again I'm hoping that we can make it far again Last year we made it all the way to the finals of the East against the capital, the Capitals, uh, which ended up being the team that wins the won the cup. So I'm hoping for another great year like this. We got a better team in front of us. I I believe we got a better team. Maybe not. Maybe uh, we do. I I'm not entirely sure, but in my mind, I think we have a better team every year. Like it's only logical to for us to have a better team. So. My guess is we're going to play, we're going to have a good year. We're going to have a good simulation. We've got some prospects in here that are, it's their first time in the playoffs, like birthday and stuff. We'll see how uh, they go, how they do. And I don't want to waste any more of your time, guys. Actually, before we do this, I did see the DLC of Assassin's Creed that came out. Uh, the Blind King, I think it's called. It came out, but I don't really want to play it, uh, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I got to buy the season pass in order to get the DLCs and everything. I'm not interested in buying the season pass at all. I'm not interested in DLCs. Overall, I'm just not interested in the game itself. Um, I've been playing it a lot. And I, I, it took me a long time to actually finish the game. And I'm not sure if I really want to play it again or something it wasn't that spectacular of a game the the finish the uh, the end lineup of the main story was kind of disappointing if I could say it the least so I'm not looking forward to a DLC or anything so I'm not gonna play the DLC unless you guys really want me to so you gotta show me that by of course leaving some likes comments and all that good stuff otherwise I'm not like gonna force myself to play this DLC because I was a huge fan overall of Assassin's Creed before, but now I'm not so much of a fan and I don't feel like it would be wise for me to just p put money on something I know I'm not I I'm not sure I'm going to like like or something. So let's just go right into the playoffs right here and you know you guys know what to do if you want me to absolutely like play this game, play uh, more of the Assassin's Creed. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to focus on NHL finishing it. Uh, and uh, this and Red Dead. Red Dead is going to take a lot of time though. Red Dead is a really long game to play. So let's just uh, go ahead and simulate. Yeah, I think Red Dead is, um, is, is going to be a really long game. And the 21st of December is when Spider-Man, the, the last DLC of Spider-Man comes out. So I want to be ready for that. So we just simulated the first period and that's pretty good because Panaman scores our first uh, first line doing the deed against Tuka Rask. Always forget he's in the Leafs team for some reason, guys. Uh, second period, nice. We got um, Nylander who put it back up, tied it up, but Menta and Svechnikov both, uh, both scored on the goalie. So that's really good. So second line, we're going to go for the third period. There it is. Eberle and Panarin, second, third, first lines. Our, our two first lines are doing the job right now. They're doing the job big time. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So Panarin got three points in this first game of the playoffs, which is really good for us, guys. Really good. Okay, so who got it? It was Rigola. All right, so Rigola. I'm saying... He's 77. Okay, he got replaced by Finn. So, regular, you gotta put him back up in there. There we go. Right, let's go, guys. Hopefully, we can win more games. Uh, we can do better. Alright. We we had a really great first game against uh, Toronto with a 5-1 uh, win. So, hopefully, we can... Uh, continue that streak and everything now Connor Brown is someone that I'm really look looking forward to see him in the playoffs he's just scored a goal right there for us so I'm really looking forward for him to produce for us we got Connor Brown and Panarin scoring goals Panarin is doing great in the playoffs he's a playoff guy for sure all right 
Maybe it's just a quick time simulation type of guy. We just won another game right there, two to one. So we're we're winning two to uh, two to zero. Yeah, maybe Panarin is just a playoff guy, a, or a quick quick time simulation guy. If you could, if you do just in uh, the calendar thing, it's calendar simulation. Maybe he doesn't uh, play as well as he would play normally. Maybe that's just it. Anyways. Let's see what we got here. So I haven't seen any offense from uh, Schwartz or Bartley, our two prospects that uh, from this year. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is the game where they, they came back up. So Cagliola, uh, Taver has two goals for him. That's pretty good from their side. Second period. Yeah, this is the comeback game for them. So Ecker scores one, but... It's pretty much over already. So third period, yeah, we didn't have any chance in that one. Toronto wanted to come back in this one. Now I'm, I'm not too uh, scared after this game. We still won two games in a row where we only gave up one goal in both of these games. Now we did give up four goals in that one, but that's okay, guys. It's okay. It's gonna happen. It's the Leafs for Christ's sake. So they, of course, they they have to score, right? We've got the defense to protect ourselves. That's probably why we aren't giving as much goals. So, first period of the fourth goal. Oh my God! All right, Badker scored. Badker of all people. All right, the second period. Oh come on! All right, we're gonna lose this one as well. Let's just simulate it already. Yeah, another. Now they're giving us what we're they're doing to us. What we did to them in the first two games. So basically. Hometown advantage doesn't exist. It's a um, it's a way, it's the a way that uh, has the advantage basically in this series. So three to one, that good. We are we are not scoring, or not scoring as I like to. I would like to. Now it's two to two. We were winning two to two uh, two and zero. Oh. Come on, I want some production. Where's Panarin? Where's Panarin? All right, I, I want to see you. Where are you? Let's go. So it's five fifth game guys against uh, of the series. We want to see, uh, we want to see our team produce. We want to see more than just Panarin. As uh, like, I know I just said Panarin, but we want to see more than just him. Oh come on now, we just gave up a hat trick to Tavares. The, Tavares just gets a hat trick, in like, just like that. He just gets a hat trick at the beginning of the game. He just begins the game, gets a hat trick. Connor Brown and Larkin gets us back, but what the fuck? Don't just don't just give Tavares all the time in the world to and space to just work. We got all the goals from Tavares. They're all in the slots too. We're just giving the these the puck away to Tavares. It looks like what, what the hell's going on here? All right, we're coming back. We came back, Menta. All right, Anthony Menta, which is really good. First line and Petriangelo. Coming hard for us. They're really good. Oh my. Kapanen just tied it up. Right at the beginning of the period. Are you serious right now? Alright. we. I got. I'm looking for my team to go forward. Further than it should be. So let's go team. We just had a power play. We should have scored in that. That's a, a really. A tough team to be. That we're, gonna, we're facing against right now. It's a team that's just like us. Producing a lot and. Prost is in the net for some reason. Is that the reason why? No, Brabaski was in there, but they after three goals they decided to put Brabaski uh, out of the net for some reason. Yes, they decided to do that. You know what? That's enough. Brabaski doesn't deserve to be in the net for some reason. They, they they said let's give a chance to the prospect to our other prospect, our franchise goaltender. I don't know why they did that. Overtime, please. We got to score. We got to win this one. It's very important. Big difference going 3 to 2 compared to going 2 to 3. Oh, and we're going 2 to 3. Johnson of all people scores on us on overtime. Well, this one could have gone anyways, guys, and went the other way around. Oh god, we got a lot of injuries. Lots of injuries, Enyan. Okay, let's just simulate to the next game. We lost three in a row. It's time to do some changes. 
I need to make it to the play uh, to the next round at least guys I'm telling you if I do not make it to the next round I'm not making it I'm not continuing this series I cannot need to make it to this next round come on guys fuck this is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous we cannot do that right now come on guys all right this is see doggy Hamilton we're not playing well together I'm thinking let's just let's just go ahead and goddamn play Bartley in the top four position see how it goes and who deserves it the most I think Connor Brown deserves it the most Connor Brown you're going in there with Peter Schwartz all right and Adam Arnie let's see how it goes for God's sake I, I need my team to produce right now let's go all right Brabowski I know you had a tough time against Tavares I know you had a tough time but you need to do it right now you need to have two great games and give us a chance because I don't want to end this series just like that in 11 seconds of the video like you gotta do some uh, you uh, not not 11 seconds 11 minutes you gotta do something all right so let's go slow time simulation we're gonna watch this game because it's a simulation it's a it's a chance for us to get eliminated so Matthews just gets two goals just like that in overtime and not overtime power play so that's terrible that's not how I wanted it to go it looks like we're just gonna the series is just gonna end yes it's just gonna end just like that I had a great team we had a great year two great simulations in a row I guess I shouldn't I shouldn't expend nothing less from this bullshit game but Matthews yeah, just got a I just I just saw it Matt just like Tavares Matthews and Tavares are just scoring like it's nothing they're both getting hat tricks every game like what the fuck's going on here and Narkin scoring I don't see any of my first liners or second liners getting hat tricks but like what is this Matthews and Tavares they shouldn't be scoring like that yes they're they're OP but still I mean come on now we got the depth to stop them and we are not using that depth at all power play come on that was your chance to tie it up you're not gonna do it and we're gonna lose because of that and the series is over we got a power play at the last two minutes and we still can score power play was terrible for this team and this team it's over guys it's the, it's over the series is fuck off Petriangelo you like to get injured don't you at the playoffs you're a fucking terrible player man I signed this I signed him thinking that he was gonna be good 89 overall he's a fucking terrible player who plays like a top four when he's a top two Petriangelo is horrible in this game guys horrible I'm done with this series I'm fucking done man just 13 minutes left in it I'm fucking done this series is terrible like honestly guys I did what I could for to help out this team it looks like Detroit is just not a team that we can help out at all it's just like a terrible team and all maybe it is the way I built them up at the beginning I should have probably built them up better in a better way maybe I should have just done that because honestly this team is just plain terrible in this season it, it simulates pretty uh, decent and well for some reason when it comes time to the playoffs I guess it's because I do the uh, quick time simulation with the uh, the in-game simulation maybe that's the problem maybe I just have to go and do the simulation of the calendar and uh, that would work maybe that's the problem I can't like I can't take it Panarin played great for the playoffs but like horrible my team is just horrible I don't know what's going on like why are we playing like that honestly I, I hate I hate it it was the same problem last year but last year wasn't even that much of a problem we actually made it a little bit further I think now this year we, can, we just can't do it just can't do it guys it's a terrible year for us in the franchise mode and you know what it's not a long enough video but I gotta do it I gotta end the series it's gotta be over 
and just for the sake of it I'm just gonna simulate and we'll see like who wins the cup who ends up winning the cup best lines I don't fucking care anymore like who ends up winning the cup that's gonna be what's interesting just best lines all right Fuck off. I don't care about this team anymore so just best lines last year was the Washington Capitals I don't even think they're in the playoffs oh they are so let's see if they get they, uh, they win another one. Let's see if they win another one, guys. Without Ovi, mind you. So they don't have Ovechkin anymore in their team. Maybe I'm look. I'm going to look further to have maybe uh, another series, another franchise mode. Where I actually pick a good team this time around. Because, I don't know, guys, but Detroit, for some reason, I couldn't help them out. They're just, the Flyers, of all people, wins the cup. All right, the Flyers. All right. Sure, why not? Flyers won the cup. So, uh, maybe I should pick up another team. I don't know which team I should pick up. Um, so, we'll see eventually which team I should pick up, guys. Uh, view retirements, just continue si simming because it doesn't matter anymore. Since we're, we're done with the series, right? So, let's look at what we did, right? Let's look at what we did. We've got all these great players in our in our franchise. We know who doesn't play good and who plays good. All right, we know who plays good in the playoffs and who plays uh, bad in the season itself. And who to not put with Hacker? Now the thing is, Hacker is not going to be in the next franchise mode if I do one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do one just because I want to have my redemption, guys. I want to get my chance so what I might end up doing is either right up the next series it's going to be that or it's going to be Assassin's Creed depending on what you guys want to see uh, it's either going to be NHL Age of Civilization 2 which is a new strategy game a really cool game that I kind of want to play on my channel I kind of want to test it out I don't know if you guys want to see it though I want to make sure that you guys do want to see it it's either one of these two games or Assassin's Creed uh, or fr fr like franchise mode, of course. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to not uh, do the outro just yet. I want to show you guys who plays well. So Eker is not going to be playing in it. Now the whole problem was Eker he's played his entire career with us without having any score, any sniper with him. He needs a sniper, someone that can score goals. He never had that. And that's why he never produced like to up to a hundred points in this uh, in the seasons and even in the playoffs wasn't that good so, uh, so you can see right there he started well with 81 88 points like he started what a first uh, a first uh, basically a first season where he had a good a good year all right I, I'll say it's a good year it's a decent year afterwards it was an actual good year then he had two shit years in the team. I'm saying it shit years because he's a 99 overall. 71 is 66 points is unacceptable for a player of his, of his uh, tramp, like uh, of his type. All right. So let's just look at our sentiments. We got Ecker in our team. We've got all these players, all these great players. We got Larkin. All right, Larkin never became the player he was supposed to be. I guess I should have played him because he's a medium. That's what I'm going to end up doing for the next franchise of medium players. If I have the chance, I'm playing them on the first line. I'm playing be them better positioning than there should be. All right. Larkin played his entire career in the second line. And how did he do exactly in four years? Like he did. He did all right. He did not... Actually, uh, it's five years, yeah. He, he didn't do too much. Uh, 67, 41, 48, 50. Yeah, I guess he, he did his job, all right? He did what he had to do. He did uh, sometimes better. Uh, in the last two years, he did better than he should be, uh, should have done. So he played uh, he played decent. Larkin played decent. Now, Peter Schwartz, unfortunately, it was I think it was his first year. Yeah, very first year in the NHL was actually pretty good pretty good start but we uh, we couldn't see more of him left wing Panarin 
unfortunately was not paired up with the right person and I'm not if I see Panarin again in the free agents for the next franchise mode I'm not picking him up not picking him up because he's terrible he's just not he's a good playoff guy but when it comes time to play in the actual season it's not good at all and that does not simulate for us like look at this Panarin is an 88 overall all right fine so he doesn't need to do more points than uh, than games all right uh, in order for me to say you need to do more points than games, uh, you need to have 90 overall at least. All right, he's got 88 overall, so fine. He doesn't need to do more points, but he needs to do 70. Uh, he needs to do 60 points, or no, 50 points, because he's a first liner for 50 points. He gets the 50 points, guys, but like he got 52, almost didn't get it. And again, he gets 62 points, so all right, fine. He did the job, but he was at one point uh, good enough to do 90 points, you know? So why why did he produce like that? Like, I don't understand. That was two shit years like that. That, that was not good at all. And Zvechnikov never got the chance to play on the first line. I should have probably played him on the first line once again, just like Larkin. Svechnikov, all right, he played actually a good year. Svechnikov was pretty good with us. Don't score Ernie. Ernie was actually shit on our team. He was a terrible player for us. He ended up dropping to a fourth line. Terrible players for us. So we know not. We know that we don't want our Adam Ernie. We are not going for him. That's for sure. We need to get rid of him absolutely. Menta, Eberly, Connor Brown. Connor Brown's a shit player. We don't want none of him. Eberly was pretty decent towards the years. Uh, yeah, he played pretty decent. All right. Especially since at the very first year, he was a first liner. So, uh, and we played him on the second line. So, pretty, pretty decent from Eberly. Uh, Menta, pretty great. Actually, Menta for power forward played, uh, had, a, had good years. Could have had better years, uh, better production but he had really great years anyways so Bra Brack Nielsen was good Zablocki was pretty decent now the ship players of course so far are Connor Brown Adam Ernie and I'm thinking that's pretty much it uh, Ecker e Ecker is a shit player basically in my mind is a shit player even though he's 99 overall he's a shit player so uh, Ristolainen uh, Pretty good. That's actually a really good defenseman. Really good pick from my side. Petriangelo is a shit player. Another one. The Doug Hamilton's a great one. Cholowski is a shit player. He doesn't produce like he should be playing, uh, producing. He's, he has been a tough time every time. Bartley is a good player. Bertuz is good. Otten, all these players are good. All right. Brabovsky, good player. Malaki Pros from what I'm seeing. First season, really disappointing. He had great seasons in the AHL itself. So he had a good time in the AHL. Came up in the NHL. I guess he wasn't ready at all. Even though it says he's a backup goalie. It says, uh, I guess apparently he's not good enough. Not Just not good enough. He was terrible. Terrible on his first, uh, first season. But it was his first season only. So we can't. Like we can't go on that and say he was a shit player all the way. It's just one season, so I guess we know who to not draft, who to not go for, and we're better prepared for next franchise mode. All right, guys. I'm not sure which team I should pick up. You guys should let me know. I'll see you guys on the next video, which is going to be Red Dead tomorrow, of course. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, guys.